I did competitive baton twirling from the time I was, well, three until now. And then I was feature twirler in my junior high school. And then I was feature twirler for my high school. And then I ended up at OU after that. It's such an adrenaline rush. It's, you know, I really like to compete, and but performing is really what I thrive off of. I love the crowd interaction. I love entertaining people. And I think that's the biggest thing is that I know that 85,000 eyes might be on me, so the pressure's on, and that's when I perform my best, actually. This is an ABC baton, um, but what I've noticed in like the Oklahoma wind, the ABC baton is a little bit nicer because it's a little bit more aerodynamic, so it's not like going against the wind as much, but at the same time, if it's really, really windy, it gets carried away with the wind, so it's just kind of a battle. Pre-game and halftime for me are totally different. Pre-game, I'm best when I like black out, <laughs> and I walk off the field and I'm like, I don't know what I did, because it's almost like an autopilot thing where I've done it so many times that it just kind of happens out of habit. Um, halftime, I'm actually really listening to the crowd. Some people have to tune everybody out and I actually really like to listen for applause and applause and cheers and everything really like motivates me to do like maybe a harder trick, you know, the next trick that I do. And, you know, sometimes I make it up as I go on the field, <laughs> which actually happens a lot. <laughs> and so therefore I'm like, mm, maybe I'll do this next. You know, they really like when I do that or for some reason they really like when I roll around on the ground or roll my baton around my neck. So I try to do a lot of that just because it's really not about, you know, like my twirling ability on the field. It's about making the crowd happy.